Deep Creativity, Seven Ways to Spark Your Creative Spirit by Deborah Ann Quibble, PhD, and Jennifer Lay Selick, PhD, and Dennis Patrick Saltry, PhD. So, a lot of education behind them. <laughs> so, you get a introduction, 15 meditations on the meaning of deep creativity, seven different parts, uh, examples of the 15 principles of different creativity, list of reflection questions and creative practices. So you get a whole bunch of stuff into a, a, over 300 pages. So, and under each part, it tells you what is um, in it each and so it's breathing each be begins with like breathing into whatever breathing whatever out so breathing into practice breathing practice out breathing into the sacred breathing the sacred out so and like this is what i'm like this is what i'm talking about when i say under each part it tells you what's in it if you kind of don't I've said this a lot in like previous videos and most likely in upcoming videos as well that each chapter or part will tell you what's in each and on one what, what page for to me quicker reference so this is what the 15 practices would look like you're looking at deep creative deep creativity is blank in the is whatever in bolded text and then one to three sentences about it and then you are getting the instead of the formal like um non-personal you getting the i u e which in a lot of courses that I've taken when writing essays or whatever, they're like, no, don't use per personal pronouns. But they are having that in and you are getting different information and things to look at. And you are getting personal experiences of the authors and other people brought in in more of essay formats than uh, then here's a chapter on whatever the topic is and you do get some sort of what feels like an exercise at the end of each essay it's a small extra piece of information talking about that essay more than some sort of like exercise you get like some myths and information uh along with um the personal sides so for me it's a little more of a good balance of oh my goodness when is this personal story going to end kind of thing so to me it's an a little better balance that I can deal with so yeah and with the examples um, practices or whatever you're um, you're getting kind of like um, creative the pr creative practices you got like love nature and then whatever the practices under each so I should have screenshotted those ones because <laughs> I'm not doing a great description of that but would I reference it from from time to time if my library has it <laughs> if my library does ever does if my library ever does pick it up or if I'm in the library that does have a copy I might give another look on it because it does have some good points to it I I found it okay. I wasn't I like I 
I liked it. I would reread it as a library loan, not as I want a physical or ebook version of it of my own. But yeah, others would want to like I can I can seriously see why other people would would likely want a physical copy of this for themselves. But I can see other people like me. If it's at my library, I might pick it up again, or others might just pass on it. But yeah, uh, Deep cre Creativity, Seven Ways to Spark Your Creative Spirit. Happy readings.